Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. Today is another open house video located at 965 Tilapia Loop here in the village of Sable Chase. I do appreciate you subscribing to my account and liking my videos. Have a great day. Enjoy the tour. Welcome friends. As we walk up the driveway to this three bedroom and two bathroom home, it is made out of wood frame. As always, please contact the listing agent if you would like more information on this home, Jim McCallum. The driveway is cement. It does have some decorative paint on it. You can see this home is well maintained and has mature landscaping. The roof seems to be in okay condition. Please refer to the specification sheet for the ages and the size of the rooms and the age of the uh, roof. Here is the entryway. Very nice. Let's take a walk inside and see what this house has to offer. Here I'm standing in the foyer area, and I do notice that the foyer is ceramic tile. Looking off into the living and dining room area, I do, I do see laminate flooring, very bright and neutral coloring throughout this home. Off to the left, it looks like it would be a guest living area. You're gonna have two bathrooms, I mean two Bedrooms and one bathroom on this side of the home. Here is the guest bathroom. It does have ceramic tile floor, a tub, and it does have ceramic tile surround in the tub. It has oak cabinets for mica countertop and a single bowl sink. The texture on the ceiling is knocked down and it does have white six panel doors. We'll call this bedroom number one. It does have carpeted floors. Very high ceiling. It looks like it, it would be considered a vaulted type ceiling. Just so you have a perspective, that is a king size bed in this room and you can see there is plenty of room on both sides of the bed in this bedroom. It is a good sized bedroom. It does have a nice closet with six panel doors. Let's go to uh, guest bedroom number two. Guest bedroom number two has carpeted floors. This here would be considered a Cathedral ceiling, very high, very nice. That does look like a king size bed in this room as well. Gives you a perspective of the size of this room. This room seems to be a bit, a little bit larger. And according to the spec sheet, I believe this room is 20 feet by 15 feet. Again, refer to your spec sheet if you want any information on this home. Also, please call the listing agent, Jim McCallum. If you have any questions about this home, let's take a walk back out into the uh, foyer area. And we'll walk into the dining and kitchen area. Here is a dining area. You can see the neutral laminate floors throughout the dining and living room areas. It's like they have a kitchenette area over there, a dining area here, and the living quarters, living room is here. I'll walk around, give you perspective on this. Very high ceilings, the texture on the ceiling is knocked down. It is not your popcorn or acoustic texture. I know a lot of my subscribers have commented that they do not like the acoustic popcorn texture. This is the living uh, area. You can see it does have, looks to me like it's a gas fireplace. Electric. 
It's an electric fireplace. It is not gas. You can see the lanai out the back. Panning to the right, you can see a dinette area. I will take a walk into the kitchen area, give you a panoramic view of the kitchen. It does appear to have Formica countertops in the kitchen. I'll give you a panoramic view standing in the living room area. Let's take a walk into the kitchen area. It does appear to have a glass tile backsplash with stone mixed in. You can see it does have, appears to have a tile floor in the kitchen. It does have oak cabinetry here in the kitchen. It has a double bowl sink. The stove is natural gas. Again, we are in the village of Sable Chase. This is uh, a little bit south of Sumter Landing. I believe it is fairly close to Sumter Landing. Here is the laundry room. It is indoor laundry with oak cabinets. And that door will lead into the garage. Let's take a look at the garage. This is a two-car garage. And those windows in the garage door bring in a lot of natural light, which is welcome. The garage floor is painted. It's a good sized garage, two car garage. Let's go back into the laundry area. The laundry area also has like a small office area and a nice window. That's also welcomed as well. Very nice, very nice clean home. We'll move into the uh, master bedroom area. Here is the master bedroom. It does have carpeted floors. Very high ceilings. I believe you'd call these cathedral ceilings. It does have knockdown texture on the ceiling. That is a king size bed to give you perspective. Lots of room in this bedroom. This bedroom is even big enough to have a love seat in there. Very nice, very neutral. This house is very neutrally colored. And you can consider this a blank canvas. I believe the real estate agent did say the furniture does go with this home. But just to make sure, you should contact the real estate agent. As always, refer to the spec sheet and contact to the real estate agent for any information that you have on this home. Next, we will walk into the master bathroom. This bathroom does appear to have oak cabinets. I think those are vinyl floors. Again, refer to the spec sheet. This is the master bathroom. Very high ceilings with knockdown texture. You do have the oak cabinets. It does have two sinks in the bathroom. And it does have a separate commode room with a pocket door. Separate commode room, pocket door, and a window. You can see the window in the commode room. It also has a walk-in shower. I believe you can refer this as a Roman shower. It is ceramic tiled. Very nice. It does have a seating area in the Roman shower. Very high ceilings. Those have to be 
maybe 12 foot ceilings. Please refer to the spec sheet. And here is the Roman shower. Very nice, very neutral. It does have a walk-in closet. Very large closet. Very large, again, very high ceilings. It does have carpeting on the floor in the master closet. It does have organization shelving. Very nice. Next we will walk into the Lanai area. Thank you for joining the tour today. It does have a nice size Lanai. Please refer to the specification sheet for the size of this Lanai. I do notice that this Lanai has cement floors. Cement floors. It is enclosed with screen. It's a very large Lanai. It says it's 25 feet by 10 feet on the spec sheet. Very nice. It does have a small patio area outside the lanai. This is typically where you put a barbecue grill. This home, uh, the backyard of this home does have beautiful flowers. And it is up against a courtyard villa neighborhood. That's why you see the wall. Beautiful flowers in the backyard. And this is the side yard of the home with the air conditioning units. Let's take a walk out of the home and into the front of the home and take a look at the street area. I know some of you like to see a panoramic view of the street. So we will take a look at the street next. This is one last panoramic view of the kitchen, living and dining areas. Very beautifully uh, neutrally decorated home. Let's take a walk back out to the street. This is the foyer area and off to the right is your guest living area. Out the front of the home. That's a very large tree right there. As always, please contact the listing agent for more information on this home. His name is Jim McCallum at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Let's take a walk out to the street. I will do a panoramic view. Again, everybody, thank you for taking these home tours with me. I do appreciate it. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and like my videos if you like them. Here's a panoramic view. This is the village of Sable Chase. This is a three bedroom and two bathroom home. It is a designer home in the village of Sable Chase, which is very near Sumter Landing. That is the home. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining everybody. Thanks for taking a tour of this three-bedroom, two-bathroom home in the village of Sable Chase. Have a great weekend.